こんなこともできるんだぜ What is going on, guys? I'm making this chapter review for Demon Slayer.、Uh, two chapters before the end of it, apparently. <laughs>、uh, yeah, sorry it's taken so long, but、uh, you know, with all this quarantine stuff, I figure now's the time. So let's just get into this. Chapter 201 The King of Demons. To put it in the most basic summary I can, this chapter was very depressing. <laughs> <laughs> and and th there's like a tiny bit of light at the end, and I want to bring attention to that tiny bit of light and hopefully make everybody not lose all hope by the end of this review. Koyaharu Gotoge, what are you doing to me?、Uh, let's just start with the first part of the chapter, which is a flashback to Muzan's childhood.、It's, we we get scenes from Muzan growing up, we, it's all through Muzan's point of view. And I think the main line to describe this entire sequence is the shadow of death has always been close to me. He talks about how his heart stopped numerous times in his mother's womb, how he was stillborn when he came out, he, you know, he struggled, and all this to describe how earnestly and how hard he clings to life. Muzan is a creature, an un, an, a seemingly undying creature that. Clings so hard to life. He's so afraid of death. And man, to, to see this,、uh, especially this, this panel where he says, I have witnessed the fact with my own eyes, and I was so moved that I trembled. And it's Muzan inside of the baby, the, the meat baby, just crying, tears streaming down his face because he knows that he's reached his, his time limit. He knows that he's dead. Or is he? Because the very next page, he reaches over to Tanjiro, who he had captured in the Meat Baby No Jutsu. And, you know, he, 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 he grabs onto him and he uses his body. And he comes to life through Tanjiro's body. Now, last chapter, you know, last chapter, all of the fucking pillars were like dying left and right. And I had assumed, okay, you know. Tanjiro can't be dead. Something's gonna happen. My thought was that maybe Nezuko would still have some of her demon blood within her and give it to him to bring him back to life.、Um, but I didn't think Muzan would just straight up body jump into the man. This is the last thing I, I ever wanted. <laughs> so Muzan body jumps into Tanjiro, and the first person to react to this is actually Giyu,、uh, Tomioka. He. Immediately recognizes what's going on by the look of his eyes. And he sees Tanjiro's arm grow back, and he knows. And I, I, I absolutely love just the leap into action, the immediate leap into action that Tomioka takes. Tanjiro, he almost kills Kakushi,、uh, one of the medics. And man, th this is heart wrenching. Heart wrenching to see. I mean, the sun starts burning Tanjiro, and, and just this. Tomioka yelling to anybody who's able, Tanjiro has become a demon. We have to keep him under the sun and burn him to death. Kill Tanjiro before he kills anyone. The, the look on everyone's face, Zenith's,、uh, Inosuke, God, it, God it's, it, it gets me. It, it, gets me, it got me pretty teary eyed on first read through. And、uh, the other line that got me was Please, Tanjiro, can't you just stay the way you are and die as a human? And it's、uh, for, for these pillars, for these demon slayers, Zenit, Inosuke, Tomioka, for them to see the bestest boy, Tanjiro, as a demon, that's gotta be their worst nightmare. It is, it is literally my worst nightmare seeing this happen before my eyes. He stops burning, which Muzan had kind of alluded to in the beginning.、Uh, he said that, oh, you know, he's gonna. He's, He is Nezuko's brother, so he must share the blood. So the reason she doesn't burn is blood related, I guess? And, and Tanjiro can also not burn because they have the same blood. I, I assume that it is because of、uh, Sunbro you know, bestowing upon their family the, the, the dance of the sun. Maybe. I, I, th I think that's what it's supposed to be alluding to. But man, just, 
just seeing all like Tomioka almost fucking dies. He gets bitch slapped into oblivion, and Inosuke comes in, and the final part of this chapter, Inosuke telling himself that they're like brothers, and when any of them stray from the path, the other two jump in to stop them. And he says, I'll strike him down, I'll stop him, I'll... And he freezes, and we just get the final lines. I can't follow through. It's no use, Tanjiro. I can't do it. And he's remembering all the times him and Tanjiro had training with Monk Boy. And God, this 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 chapter, 201, I thought it was over last week. I thought this week was going to be like an epilogue. I thought Tanjiro was dead. I didn't know freaking, <laughs> I didn't know freaking Gotoge was going to do this to us. But as I said, fantastic chapter, very fucking depressing for any fan of the series to see this happen to Tanjiro of all people is ridiculous. But, dear viewer, I come with a peace offering, an offering of, of hope, uh, just like Avengers Endgame. I don't want to, don't do this to me, don't give me hope. Well, I'm going to give you hope. Inosuke is not dead. As you probably saw from the opening of this video, Inosuke is the best character and also my favorite character in this entire series. He's the best. I don't want him to die. I don't think he's going to die. Yes, he can't do it. Tanjiro's not going to kill him. Do I think Tanjiro is going to, like, stop and, like, fight back against Muzan? No. I think either Zenitz is going to use his lightning dance to zoom in and get Inosuke out of there. Or, guys... We haven't seen Kane in a while. We haven't seen her in a while. I think it's possible. She was with Inosuke in this entire last arc that we just got through. I don't think it would be crazy to think that she would stop Tanjiro. Uh, I think her and Tanjiro might have a fight in this form to kind of give them or to give her some sort of, you know, some more character development in terms of Tanjiro. Tanjiro was the initial one that gave her this sort of path to getting over her emotional block. And I, I, I think for her to kind of come back at the end of the series and help Tanjiro again, the way he helped her, I, I, it's poetry, baby. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just poetry. It writes itself. But yeah, that, that's going to do it for chapter 201. Amazing chapter. Not on break next week. So I can't wait to see what happens next week. God, I hope Inosuke doesn't die. Well, yeah, that's going to do it for us, guys. Go ahead and follow Paramecia TV on YouTube. This is going to be where all of our non-podcast episodes go. It's going to be the second channel. Franz already put up a video in a new series he's going to start called I'm Objectively Right, which is fantastic. Um, I do want to do more Demon Slayer review videos, even though this shit's going to end in like two chapters. Uh, better late than never, haha. <laughs> but yeah, I I I want to do more videos of, of this type, more video essays about One Piece and some other series. I do want to also do. You'll probably see it either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, chapter reviews of B Stars. I really like B Stars, and that that series is is getting real good. So yeah, that is gonna do it for me, Paramecia TV. Don't forget to follow if you're into One Piece, Paramecia Fancast, the main YouTube channel, the main. One Piece podcast comes out every Monday following the chapter reviews. A really good chapter this week of, of April 5th. Fishy boy's back, baby. Um, I hope you all are staying safe, and please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next week.